We read the stats race and risky. What's the ABV? The ABV is 59.7. I like how we got this size of bottle and Nicole got the full thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I got mine delivered to my house, so it's good service. It's definitely more uh, mellow than batch number two already, even though. Yes, a lovely it's soft, really sweet look on it. Amazing how little presence the alcohol has, even though it's pretty high strength and pretty young, it's still not burny or hot or anything. Mm-hmm. Well, what's the cast makeup for this one? Good question. Yeah, it's just like the Sunday maybe slightly in favour of the bourbon, yeah? Yeah, it'll be slightly more uh, bourbon on there. I think the last bottle is fifty five percent bourbon, forty five sherry. Oh, it's usually refill sherry as well because you want the peatiness and the character of the spirit to come out rather than drowning it in Oloroso. Mm. Well, there's a little bit of first fill just to give it uh, a bit more body. But as you say, you want to kill the peat too much. It's still super fruity and kind of tropical fruits. Kind of oak smoke, cheesy kind of note to it as well. Yeah, like an apple would. Even oh. the kind of sweetness of toasted marshmallows, sort of s'more smell as well. Like kind of Warehouse 3 as well, just subtly. Yeah, kind of sort of earthy done in snow. Yeah. Knows I've got um, oak smoked applewood, toasted marshmallows, Warehouse Dunnage sort of note. And that sort of briny, that kind of comes all the way through though, I think people have been saying that, that briny sort of coastal yeah. characteristic. And then yeah, the- you definitely get that sort of cocaine character that waxiness you get on the nose you get it in cocaine 12 pretty much everything i find you know like kind of waxy fruit i'm getting a lovely sort of lemon sherbet and the the palate is a wee pint of licorice and herbal to it palate's really quite buttery to begin with and then the peat just dries out a little bit but it's a lovely kind of crisp note at the end i get that kind of buttery shortbread note yeah for me, it comes quite salty and uh, coastal towards the end. I think no, it's I interesting don't... that this batch has got, for me, that kind of pronounced Campbelltown style that Grant mentioned, that kind of briny, salty finish. Because yeah. I don't think either of the first two batches have had that. I would have this contains a bit older. And so it's the Campbelltown style coming through as it ages up, yeah. which would suggest that the location of its maturation makes a difference. Mm-hmm. Oh, I could point, yeah. Nicole looks a bit tipsy. <laughs> started at nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Don't let working from home break your usual habits. <laughs> and then for the, the on the palette I've got more like licorice, fennel note, buttery, shortbread, that dry peat well. coming through. I think it's interesting that we've not really talked about peat that much, mm-hmm. but I reckon that's because the peat's consistently present. Yeah. yeah. No, we know it's a heavily peated whiskey. It tastes like a heavily peated whiskey, but because the peat doesn't smack you in the face, you look at all the other flavours that are in there as well, which is pretty interesting for a whiskey of its age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I can't think of anything worse than it just being a one note whiskey. Uh, I think the fact that it does have all this complexity we've talked about is fantastic. It's a nice kind of like fruitier, sweeter peat smoke. Yeah, it's not um, that medicinal kind of note oh, that you're used to with peat. Hospital gone on a fire type note. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely got its own different peat character that's not, not that medicinal ID anyway. And then for the finish, long is smoky, peaty, integrated peat smoke, that cereal sort of malty note, again that briny coastal sort of dunnage characteristic as well. I'm glad I've got another uh, drams worth in there. Mm. Oh, I'm dense. glad it's a bit extra as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, show, show <laughs> off. <laughs> Both uh, with water and then back to, to me, I prefer it undiluted actually. Undiluted. Maybe, but I don't know if it's just because it's a Friday afternoon, but it's just that bit bolder and brighter. 
I always find when you add a, a little bit of water to like the peat in progress, the smoke just comes out so much more. Do you want me to get the work van and do a beer run, drop everyone off, and we can just continue this? Yeah, please. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't go to the co-op for beer, because if you want to buy cans of beer, you're limited to two. Oh, so yeah. No more than two. If you want to buy a slab of 12 tenants, you can get two of them, which is 24. But if you want to buy two cans of beers, you get two cans. Oh, that's bro. your... That's actually ridiculous. Do the beer run, go to halls. <laughs> Went to the co and like feels like an actual accomplishment to be able to buy a loaf of bread with me. I think we got the last one in the shop. Oh, just now. Tesla. Tesla. Tesla's a bread just now. And toilet roll. And toilet roll. Right, see you later. Oh, see you later. <laughs> 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 you <can> nowhere. <laughs> if we can see you in the mirror. And we saw a bit more you've like, just got shorts on. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm going to put the time below business up top. <laughs> <laughs>